Hey, how are we doing boys and girls? Welcome back to some more Grey Zone Warfare. Today we're going to be focusing on the final mission for Handshake. It's the final mission you have to complete. And it basically asks you to do a lot of objectives while not, while not dying. If you die, the whole thing gets reset and you have to redo it again. There's a lot of people in my stream at the minute I've noticed are now gotten to this mission and having a bad time trying to do it. We just done this the other day. And there's a few things I want to show you to make this a hell of a lot more easier and a lot less stressful than if you're just following the objectives and just hoping that you don't die. So let's go over this in kind of three stages. And before we get into those three stages, one of the obvious ones I want to just put out there first is if you are just trying to get this done and you're not worried about PvP and trying to have the extra challenge, which I done because we done this on Warfare, I would highly suggest going over to the Joint Operations so you're not going to have to worry about the extra deaths which may involve other factions killing you especially if you're trying to get out with the case and you get killed by someone camping the uh, lz for example or maybe trying to call in a, an lz and see you it's w one less frustration so i would advise going over to joint operations and that way it's just going to make it a lot easier in terms of the only thing you need to worry about when it comes to dying is the AI. And to be honest, the AI is a lot more scary than players in this game. But at least it kind of knocks out one of those kind of randomness things which could happen when one of your deaths. The other good thing about joint operations I always find is a lot of people are now in these higher tier areas. So when it comes to actually getting the container, chances are if you see a lot of people, for example, storming the mall. They might be a good a good thing. It might be quite easy to get into the mall and just get the container out of the mall because it's been cleared from other players already, even if they're not even in your faction. So joint operations for starters would be a first thing I would advise doing this mission on. So the first thing you actually want to focus on is getting the containers. Don't worry about the kills at all because what we're going to be doing is basically um, doing a bit of prep work to make this mission a hell of a lot easier. We're not going to have to worry about our deaths and getting the missions reset because the only thing we're going to be focusing on is locating these containers and I'm going to tell you why. So we're going to first start with Tiger Bay. Now getting to Tiger Bay into the Mal, clearing out Tiger Bay is a very very hard thing to do right especially as, as a solo player. Now to make that part of it easier, because in this video I don't want to show the whole entire route and I don't want to go through everything again just because it will make the video a lot longer, I'm going to leave in the pinned comment down below how to deal with the AI and stop dying to AI. It's a video I, I, I made which goes through a lot of things which is not only going to help you be able to clear out Tiger Bay and easily get the container, but it's also going to just help you in general against the AI which is going to then help you with the last step, which is eliminating, getting the eliminations. OK, so I'll leave that in the pinned comment down below. It goes over things like fast peeking, checking corners, baiting, funneling, and also a really awesome route where you can not aggro any, any, any of the AI in Tiger Bay, get to the mall and then farm them in a really easy spot where they will just come to you. And that's what you want to do. You want to clear out the mall by making them come to you and not putting yourself in danger. And this is what we'll go over in that video. So that'll be in the pinned comment down below. And then what we want to do is make sure we then get the container from Tiger Bay. That will be in the second part of this video. I'll show you the, the, the locations of the containers. But for now, I just want to explain what we're going to be doing. Once you get the container from Tiger Bay, you want to get out of it. And you want to, when you get back to base, instead of handing it in, this is the important step. Do not hand it in. Instead, put it in your backpack or sorry, in your locker and just stash it in your locker and forget about it. Because once you get the container one time and stash it, it doesn't matter if you die because this will not disappear. It will keep in your locker. It won't go anywhere. It will keep in your locker. And so if you die, all you need to do to re retick the objective, which is locate the container. All you need to do is have a backpack on you and then just drag the container into the backpack and back out again and it will retick it and say that you've located it and complete that objective again. It saves you having to keep on going back in 
and re-keep getting the containers. You only have to get the containers one time. And that's going to make your life a hell of a lot easier because really then the only thing you do once you've gotten all three containers from the areas, you've basically got the prep work done. And the only thing you need to worry about is getting your eliminations, okay, without dying. That's the only part you need to then worry about. So that is the next step is locating the containers, getting all the containers. What I would do as advice, starting with the easiest container first, just to kind of get that one done. And that would be getting it from Midnight Sapphire. This is a very easy case to get. And the route which we took on stream, we zoom in on Midnight Sapphire, is we went to Hotel 1. And then I just kind of rent up this area here. And there's only one or two AI around here. You have to be careful. Just watch where they are. They sometimes can be a little bit hidden, but it's not too bad. And I've never really died up here. It's only like one or two. So you can clear out the AI and then come down. And then you want to enter this villa here, which is the lakeside villa. You're going to need the Louisa key to enter this. Once you enter in, you come in from the back. I would enter in from the back way and go inside. And I'll just show you that um, from my stream and whereabouts the case is. What I consider most probably the second easiest container would be Fort Narif. And there's a nice easy route which can get you into the HQ which not only is on my stream when I do it, and again, something I actually forgot to mention is I'm going to also leave in the pinned comment my two streams where I do this whole entire playthrough. So if you just want to see how I do it all, instead of putting it in this video, which is going to take a very long time, I would rather just like put it in a, in the pinned comment, link the two streams. The first stream, it's starting from like more like the end, was I unlock it um, on that stream and then I start do the first um, part of the quest, which I first focus on trying to get Tiger Bay's container. And then I have the second stream, which is me finishing it all off. And basically all the tips and tricks you're learning all compiled in that stream. So if you do want to watch it, that will be in the pinned comment down below. But we're going to now look at Fort Narif and how to get in there and show you whereabouts the case is when you go to Fort Narif. Now, the route you want to be taking when you go there is to go to Delta 1. When you go to Delta 1, you're going to be using this entrance here. And you can go around the outside. In fact, on my stream, I go down here and I go through the hole here and come up. But I would actually advise going through this way because the AI around here is not too much, many of them. And you can clear them out and it may probably knock off a few kills for your AI part. You know, getting the kills in that area while going for the case. Now, what I'm going to do is link a video on how to how I do this in the pink on down below. This isn't from me, though. This is actually from another awesome content creator. And I like to promote other people's videos and content when I can to kind of just show the love because there's a lot of awesome people creating videos in Grey Zone Warfare. So this guy is called Jacob uh, GZW and he shows a really awesome route which he likes to do to get into fort into the actual hq part of fort narif right and he goes on here and he just shows you how to clear out the ai and how to get in here so i will leave his um video in also in the pinned comment it'll all be labeled so you can find which thing you need to look for nice and easily again in the pinned comment down below but what we'll do now is now switch over to where the actual case is in the headquarters area Right, got the container. Then last but not least, we then have the Tiger Bay area. And the reason why I want to leave Tiger Bay to the end and the reason I want to have this container as the last container to get is there's a good chance that you'll get your 20 kills from Tiger Bay while getting your container. So what you can do is we can get the last container and put it in your stash but there's, there's a good chance that you've already then got your 20 kills. So then all you need to do once you get back to base and stash your container is then get your 20 kills in Fort and your 20 kills in Midnight. And the chances are you've got a few kills from these if you've been collecting the containers. If not, if you haven't died, then all you need to do is going to get your 20 kills and uh, you're good to go. So that's why we leave the, ti um, the Tiger Bay one to last because I consider that the most hardest one and the annoying when it comes to killing the AI. So 
the route we're going to be doing for this one and again i will leave the pinned uh, you know the video of mine in the pin comment down below which we talked about earlier um and we're going to be going into juliet 2 and we're going to be walking over to this little white building here going over past here nice and slow walking always walking and not um running we go past this building here and then we go over to this little area here and we just crouch around until we get this area here and then we enter in again i will be showing this on video um in the pinned comment down below how you can do this and never aggro the ai and let's head into now on stream where i showed you uh where we find the where, where we find the actual case so um we're at the room from the video where we farmed a lot of the ai and we've cleared most of them out and now we're heading to the location to get the case And that is it, boys and girls. Um, once you've done that and you've got the container back from Tiger Bay, all you need to focus on then is getting your eliminations in Fort and Midnight Sapphire because you should have most probably got the 20 done once getting that container. My advice when it comes to actually getting these kills is just going around and farming the outskirts of the area. So for Fort, you go over to here. And again, if you watch me back, watch my streams back, it should be in the pinned comment. You'll see me doing this myself. I go over to Delta 3. Because I was playing Warfare, I was also just checking out, making sure there's no PvP about. So I end up going over this way first. You could also take out a few of the AI along here and then come back round. I then take out some AI around this area. Look around down here to see if I can pick a few off with my scope. If not, I keep on heaving along the wall. Then I go along this area here, this is the airfield back entrance. I take a few out here, then I carry on along the wall. I take a few out here. And so basically I finish it off just by keeping on the outskirts and not putting myself in too much danger, just to finish off those last kills which I needed for Fort Narif, all right? And again, if you kill the AI here and you're like, you're not finding any, all you can do if you want to, is just go back to base, re, you know, safety deploy and then go back onto another server and then redo the same thing again and chances are you'll mostly do it in your second run through or third tops when it comes to midnight midnight is a little bit harder because um the way the ai is separated out but there's really nice easy places around here so if you went to say foxtrot one for example you could just walk over towards the golf course and just take out it's like around is there anywhere between four or five ai located around this area you can take them out over here. You can then most probably take out some of the AI patrolling around in this area if you'd like. There's also it's like loose patrol AI around the fields down here. You could also take out. You could also take out some of the AI around this kind of little um, area here, which I showed the farming money method. This is quite an easy place to kind of take cover around the area and take out AI here. So again, just use the outskirts. Take your time really nice and slow when it comes to dealing with the AI. You do not want to be pushing AI. You do not want to be getting impatient and just thinking, you know what? I'm just going to go and try and do this, especially if you see clumps of AI and you're like, oh, I can get four kills on this straight away. In fact, you'll see this on my stream. I hesitated in terms of killing the AI here. I, was, I jumped into the golf course and I focused on and seeing about five AI, instead of being like ballsy and trying to take out all of the AI, it, just, it only takes one of those nutters to turn around and instantly beam you as they like to do. Don't take that fight. Just really take it safe. You, just, you, you got to be telling yourself, all I need is these kills and then I'll finish. Don't risk it. If you think you're going to die, don't do it, right? The, t the thing I just want to advise when it comes to taking out the rest of the AI, if you think you could possibly die in this scenario, when you take on that AI, maybe you're not near cover, maybe you're in the open, don't do it. Just be patient because it's going to be a, it's going to take you a lot longer if you then try and go for it, then die, and then you have to repeat the whole process of killing all the AI again. Okay, so just take your time, 
be patient and you'll get those kills. So now what we'll, what we'll do is that for the last bit, I'm just going to move over to, again, my stream. You're going to see me hand in the containers. You'll see me basically put them all in the bag. You'll see me at the first thing, I drag one of the containers in and try and click hand over. And what you'll find is each container is only specific to a to where its location is. So I think I grabbed the Tiger Bay case and I clicked hand in to Fort Newton it didn't work. So you'll see me then just drag all three in, in my bag and then hand it in and it works. So you can then see that get done. So let's just pop over to that. And thank you so much guys for watching. Really appreciate all the support and uh, I'll see you soon for some more Grey Zone Warfare.